So I was recently browsing an e-commerce website, added a few products to my cart and ended up not making the purchase because I was not motivated enough. I was just looking through the products and didn't have a big incentive to make the purchase right then and there. And a couple of days later, I get an email from the website saying that they have a special promotion running and it was on all the products that I'd been actually looking at. Great, right? But the sad part is that the promotion was running since the last two weeks and I had just been the website the couple of days before. So then I was wondering to myself, why didn't they tell me this when I was on the website, it would have definitely helped conversion, right? This is just one incident and there might be hundreds of people on the site ready to make a purchase if the right information was presented to the customer, that is me. Now let's talk about the solution to this problem. The solution to this problem is to develop a communication channel with your customers so that you can display the right message to them in any way possible. And the easiest non-interruptive way to do this is this, or something like this, or something like this. It's called a floating bar and it's definitely gonna help you with conversions, better client communication, more trust, everything else on your website. So let me show you how to do this on your website. To add floating bars to my website, I'll be using Optin Monster. Optin Monster is a fantastic product which allows you to collect leads and convert your visitors into customers. And it has a lot of different campaign types. It has light bulb pop-ups, which I've done videos about. It has floating bars, which we are gonna cover in this video. It has gamified wheels, timers, page level targeting, and tons of features. And the easiest part is that you don't need a developer or need to be a developer to actually connect this to your account. All you have to do is make a purchase on the site and make sure you're logged into your Optin Monster account. Since I am already, I'll just head back to my website. And I'm gonna show you how easy the process is to connect your website with Optin Monster without any technical skills. So let's go here. And inside my WordPress website, this is an e-commerce store. Of course, I'm talking about e-commerce because we are talking about sales. So what I'm gonna do is simply go to the plugin section and I'm going to add a new plugin here. And I'm gonna search for the Optin Monster plugin. So I'll search for this. Now, just to clarify, Optin Monster is an independent service and the plugin is just a way to connect your website with Optin Monster. And this is the plugin, you can see it right here. Let's click install now. And plugin is installed, let's also activate it. So the plugin is now installed and activated. You can see it right here, Optin Monster, but it's still not connected to my Optin Monster account that I already have. And that's why you see the upgrade to pro option here. So what I'm gonna do is go to the Optin Monster menu here and you'll see a lot of options. I'll just go to settings option, which is where I can connect my website to my Optin Monster account. And you can see you can connect your website and you also need to create an account first, even if you're using the free version, you will need to create a free account. Since I already have an account, I'll just click connect an existing account. And this will open up a pop-up menu on the site, which will ask me to connect my Optin Monster account to my current website. So I'll click connect to WordPress and you can see my name here. Let's click connect. And now my website and my account is connected. You can see all the details right here. Now, if you're installing Optin Monster for the first time, a setup wizard, words wizard will automatically open and it just prompt you to connect your website and also create a free account if you want to. If you've already upgraded like I have, all you have to do is just log into your Optin Monster website previously so that your website will automatically be connected like this. Now, once this is done, you are ready to start creating campaigns and campaigns are very powerful ways to communicate with your users and connect or convert them from visitors to customers. But first, what I'll do is take you to my shop section here because this is a site where working with and you have to figure out what kind of campaign we want to create because that's also important right so i have let's say example you can see a lot of different variety of products i have some home decor products which are pottery i have some lamps i have t-shirt here and i have some vases so let's say for example i'm running a special campaign on my website which says hey if you buy a lamp you get a vase for free pretty cool right but then if a customer sees this or let's say even goes to the product page like this they don't know anything about this so the thing we have to figure out is how do we communicate this to our users that, hey, if you're browsing for lamps, then you can get a waste for free if you purchase a lamp today. So that's the campaign we'll set up. So let's go to settings here. And now we already have some details. We have dashboard here, we have the campaigns and everything is unlocked. So I'm gonna head to the campaign section here. And inside the campaign section, you can see I don't have any campaigns. So I'll create my first campaign. And as soon as I click on this, it'll take us to the opt-in monster website. So what I'll do is first duplicate this tab so that I have access to my website in the backend as well, since I wanna do some, uh, say, check out some URLs when we're setting up the campaign. So now to have this page here, I'll click create your first campaign, and this will take us to the uh, campaign builder first. 
So you have a lot of different campaigns here and you also have templates and playbooks. That means what kind of winning campaigns work. So these are also some amazing, I'd say, information you can consume. You can understand what kind of campaigns you can create. So this information is available to you for free as well. That's, that's amazing, right? So let's go to templates here. And inside the templates, you'll see first you have a campaign type and we have pop-ups. We have floating bars, which we can use. We have full screen, inline, slide in and gamified wheels as well. We're interested in the floating bar for now. And once we click it, you'll see a lot of different templates, hundreds and hundreds of templates you have available without having to do any kind of design as well. That's beautiful, right? You don't have to do anything. Just click a few buttons and you'll have a beautiful campaign running for you live. So I'm looking for a campaign that just displays information, right? So uh, I'll search for something which looks good. Let's say, for example, I like this one or let's go with this one, the black and purple one. So I'll click use template and I'll just name this a BOGO, which is a buy one, get one free, right? So I'm going to say, hey, if you buy a lamp, you get a t-shirt free or you can get a waist free today. Let's start building. And now we're going to be redirected to Optin Monsters website. So the integration is pretty seamless, right? So this is pretty cool. You can see here that this is the design we're working with, right? This is the design we're working with. So it's say, it's my go-to email every week on a lot of how to grow my business. Now, of course, this is a template, which is a predefined messaging here. So we can customize this completely to our needs. And every campaign or every, uh, let's say, campaign has different views. So the first one where we can say where we're asking users to subscribe or share their email, then it requires for us to have a yes and no uh, section where people can say yes or say no. And then if they opt in or they, they have the option of opt in and then they get a success message. So in this case, since we don't need a yes or no view, because we are just saying, hey, you get this for free if you just purchase this. So we'll disable this and we'll just have one view, either the opt-in view or the success view. So we can even delete the opt-in view or we can just keep one of these views here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover over the section where I'm asking users to sign up to my email list and just delete that section. So I can just delete this and I'm going to delete this block. And now instantly that block is deleted. And what I can do is we can just change this around. So I'll just click here and just change the copy here. Pretty cool, simple messaging. And I can just change this around. I can delete this as well. I don't need this because I just need this line. And I can also add here, I'll say no coupon required. Just add both products and coupon will be applied automatically right so kind of a hefty message but it works still so now we have this kind of a beautiful bar set up here and if you go to the home page we can uh, change the sections around we can move this around so this is right now on the bottom of the page we can also change it to the top of the page and we can do all sorts of good stuff here so it's not limited to this design and we can change absolutely everything about this so if i click here let's say here we can see that we have a container styling. We can change it to gradients, the background color, shadows, every single thing. So if I click here and let's say if I want to change the background color to white, I can change it to white and even change everything else as well. So now the text has also been changed. So I'll also change the text here and I'll just select the text color here and I'll change the text color to black now. And now we have this. So let me do some things. I'll just pause the video for a second. I'll change the design elements, make it a uh, more beautiful looking design, and then we'll resume the video. So I've just customized the campaign. I changed the copy a little bit, made sure the background is white, a simple timer added here, simplified the copy, and just uh, make sure that the campaign was on top of the page rather than the bottom of the page. And everything is completely customizable with the beautiful uh, campaign builder here. So you can see smart blocks, you can see normal blocks, dividers, countdown videos, you can add tons of things here. So Optin Monster is absolutely powerful. So let's head to the next important section after saving the campaign, which is the display rules, because this is where it gets interesting. So what I'm going to do is find this page for or find the category page for the vases that we are running on the campaign for and specifically for the lamps first. So what I'm going to do is just go to the products category here and find categories. And I'm going to find the category for the lamps because that is the page where people will be browsing for when I want to display the campaign. So if we click view and open it up in a new tab, this URL, which I'm going to place on the screen is the page where we want to run this campaign. And this is very, very important. Why? You'll figure out when we go here. So inside the display section is where we can customize how and when is the display or when 
uh, opt-in monster triggers the campaign. And you can see here, right now we have uh, the campaign set to show the opt-in view, which we created, if all of the conditions are true at the same time. So what are the conditions? If time on page is at least five seconds, let's make it around 10 seconds, right? So after somebody is browsing that page for 10 seconds, and if the current URL path is any page, we want to customize this. If we go for uh, contains, so we can paste this URL here and just make sure that we have not the entire product URL, but just the category section. And now you can see this is the product category and lamps. So anytime somebody is visiting this particular page, then the campaign will be triggered after they've spent a time of 10 seconds of the page. Immensely powerful stuff. And you can do this for every category, every single page, different URLs, different home page, cart page, every single page. So you can have campaigns triggering for abandoned cart recoveries, for home pages, for returning visitors, all sorts of good stuff, and even exit intent. And if you go here, you'll find tons of different variety of campaigns. You can see here, referral targeting, device targeting, cookie targeting, so many different options to click and trigger different campaigns. That's why I say Optin Monster is immensely powerful. So we're gonna stick with these two rules for now. And what we can do is we can also see the actions, what happens uh, and different uh, kind of customizations. So when is the campaign triggered, uh, multiple times triggered, if the campaign converts and everything else. And this is basically the summary of this. So once this is done, we can save this. And now we have the campaign set up right. And if you go to the publish section right now, we also can integrate with email providers and see analytics after the campaign is live, but it's not live yet. So let's go to the publish section here and I'm gonna make sure the campaign is set to publish. And you can see the green tick here changing and I'm just gonna save the campaign. And you can see here, the campaign is live on your website. We'll click publish. And the campaign should be triggered live in a few seconds and we'll be redirected to our website. And now this is done. You can see the campaign is live, published, BOGO, floating bar, everything we've set up. So if I open the category page and now spend 10 seconds on it, the campaign should be triggered automatically. So let's test it out. Let's open a new tab. And I think I already have it in my clipboard. Let's click here and open this clipboard or open the specific page for lamps here. And I'm on the lamps page now. So I'll just spend 10 seconds browsing through the lamps, beautiful looking lamps and wait for the campaign to be triggered. So let's wait for it. And instantly, within 10 seconds, you can see here, limited time offer, buy a lamp and get a waste completely free. Wow, amazing, right? And if I see this, like I'm buying a lamp right now, I'm getting a free waste. And then you can also add buttons here if you want to redirect people to a specific page and all sorts of good stuff. Optin Monster is immensely flexible in this regard. So you've done this, created the campaign and beautifully, just people see the right message at the right time and they're happy because they're getting free stuff, right? That's amazing. So this is how Optin Monster makes it absolutely easy for you to just give the right message to the right user at the right time, collect their emails if you want to, or just give them a promotion, which helps them convert. Now, if you're wondering, how do you actually create this kind of campaign where users purchase or add two products to your cart, and then the coupon they use is automatically applied, you can watch this video right here, where I show some advanced techniques to create coupons in WooCommerce and WordPress so that you can get more sales and conversions. You're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.